Command codes verified. Welcome to Starfleet Command Headquarters. Alright guys, what is up? Welcome back to Star Trek Online. We are um, on, our, on route to the Vega system. If you remember from last time, we had just left the Pollock system after fight, uh, uh, realizing that there was a Borg invasion force hiding in some gaseous anomalies when we came to rescue the Kittimer. Or not rescue it, but come see what was wrong. Oh god, light speed travel, or not light speed, warp travel is so slow right now. I'm not used to traveling this slow. My starship on my other campaign, Sevit, the one you guys saw, um, probably in episode one when I made this character, <coughs> has a maximum warp of 9.97 plus quantum slipstreet drive, which allows me to enter transwarp 31. It's really nice. All right. Here is the Vega system. What's this trying to tell me to do? All right. Da, 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 da. Assimilation of the Innocent. Well, that's an awful name, by the way. I mean, like, that's bad. It's... On screen. The Borg are on the way to this system. You need to begin evacuating. The Borg are on their way, Mayor. You have to evacuate. Calm, what just happened? Oh, all right, let's set a course for the satellite. Uh, I love this game. It's a nice game. It's really buggy, though, in some places. Boost signal with satellite. Well, what is that? This is just going to kind of be standard. Oh, I guess I should kind of say what these do. Um, does this... I don't know if this... Yeah. So this upgrades my torpedoes by actually making it so there's two torpedoes I'll be firing. Uh, which is really nice. And you can see that in use here. This is a tachyon beam, which drains the enemy shields and allows me to do stuff like that. And then there's my... Uh, and this uh, is emergency power. Uh, or reroute it to my shields, and that's really nice as well. I don't know who the creators of Star Trek Online are trying to fool, though, because there's no way a Borg invasion force would be made of just probes, especially so deep in the Federation space. And you'll see us use the um, uh, emergency power shields quite a bit. It's really it's just a really nice ability. And we'll use that. Oh, and this is evasive maneuvers, which I accidentally activated, which really just makes it so I move really fast. All right, so now I can consult with the crew. Fantabulous. All right, crew, let's see what you've got.
Hmm, she makes a good point. But, unfortunately, we're the only Starfleet vessel in the system, so we will help them. All right. I just completely nicked my finger off my desk and it's bleeding and it hurts it's really bad now. That sucks. Alright. They're gonna listen naturally because, you know, they're civilian ships and we're the mighty Starfleet. Not only is this ship small, it's small and not even that maneuverable. Lovely. Eh, let's fire a torpedo for good luck. Now, we've got a couple more. Okay, this escort probe is going to be my biggest problem. So, let's take our shields down. There we go. Now we got an assimilation probe here, and this won't be too bad. I'll stop. These don't fire back, so we can just sit back and relax. Alright. And for good luck. There we go. Oh, that didn't actually do it. That sucks. Here we go. Rescue operations. Go to Vega Colony. Well, we're here, unfortunately. We have to beam to the surface. Take Eliza Flores with me. She is the most equipped of my bridge crew. Understood. We will manually tag any survivors we find for transport. some refugees up here. They're going to turn the corner and be like, ah, save me. What? Yes, you're definitely way too late. Hey guys, what's up? I'm right here. You don't have to wave your arms. There you go. The USS Finkel is going to come save the day. Hey, Burn from 12 song. That's my uh, good friend uh, Noah, also known as Burnflame from the YouTube channel Burnflame. And he's doing the tutorial now as well. And then we, oops, I did not mean to shoot that. Uh, he's doing the tutorial now. Oh, hold on. Hey, it's a Cardassian. And no, that's not a Cardassian. Unfortunately. Although, they're both evil reptilian people, so. Don't worry, I'm uh, perfectly capable of saving them. But yeah, Noah's doing the tutorial now, and then we're going to do this all uh, co-op. You know what? Don't tell me how to live my life. Alright. Put my body armor. We'll give her her body armor. Uh, we'll press B, and then we'll X out of this. And then we'll accidentally do that. And open the colony gate. Beep beep boop boop. Oh boy. Oh boy, they're getting assimilated. 
Let's kill the lady they just assimilated. There we go. And we got more drones to deal with. Alright, we need to attack these we need to uh, attack these civilians for being um we need to get people out of here alive, you know. There have to be some survivors from the board attack on the Vega colony. cities and everything and there's lush green and then once we get to orbit if we look back at the planet you can see it's like mechanical it's been assimilated hey look it's Coles. what's up my man oh let's talk to the administrator hey what's up The Finkel is in orbit. We can rescue those citizens, but something is blocking our transporters. have my thanks, I'll retrieve the equipment and then set up the pattern enhancer. Let's retrieve the equipment from these crates. Alright, sounds good. A tactical kit, standard issue. Don't mind if I do. How do you use tactical kits? Actually, don't have the slightest idea. Alright, pattern enhancer, check. No, actually not check. signal citizens to come here for transport, alright? As long as we need to. Alright, now guys, now watch her high-tech signal to all the citizens hiding throughout the colony. Just look at that guys, everybody hiding throughout the colony can see her waving her hands and know that this is safe. See, look at that, they all saw her waving through cement walls or whatever these walls are made out of. No, really? The Colas looks like everybody else in the species. They're kind of interesting looking. Little lacking of facial features though. Man, look how good looking I am. Probably the best looking Starfleet officer in Starfleet. That's right, I said all of that. It was quite a mouthful. <coughs> Go, I lowered game volume. It was a little loud, my bad. Alright, you guys are getting a little carried away with running up here and killing people. God, this weapon is so bad. Some of the other weapons I had, ooh, it was super nice. Ah, I don't know what I just did. 
Oh, right. Let's do that. Answer a hail for my ship. I'm not getting any hail. We'll just walk around. Oh, there we go. Yeah, we better destroy that thing. Alright, hang in there, Tuvrel. We'll be there soon. Mayor, thank you for your assistance. Alright, I'm not finished yet. Cola's with me. Alright, let's get moving. There's the console to open the gate. And then we have to deal with all these people who've been assimilated. And I don't even think they're armed, honestly. They're just civilians. Oh, I lied. They're armed. Because they're Borg. Alright. Let's disable their stupid transport inhibitor. Now, unless we've determined, a w uh, Starfleet has determined a way to have uh, Federation weapons be um, uh, able to penetrate Borg shields, um, then this shouldn't be happening. Because the Borg adapt very quickly, and they will adapt their shield to a phaser's frequency. And that prevents them from getting shot. Although, as Captain Picard proved in um, Star Trek First Contact, a holographic Tommy gun in the holodeck with the safeties off is plenty lethal against Borg. Yeah, that was a good movie. That was a really good movie, actually. Alright, well, we have this drone here who's about to get pwned. Yeah, they're totally evil. I can't imagine if any species that isn't screwed up in the head, I can't imagine thinking with a sane mind to do this. To even, like, bring themselves to this, like, combining themselves with machines like this. I really hope this isn't something humanity does. We, like, uh, combine ourselves with cybernetic implants to this extent. Because they're combining humans with cybernetic implants because they are defective or, you know, like somebody doesn't have a leg or something. There's giving somebody a leg or there's putting something inside you to make you a superhuman. That's just wrong. Alright. You do have a point, Eliza Flores. Let us beam out. Yeah, can you guys see the planet over there? You can see where it's been assimilated. Alright, sounds like a sonic plan. Helm, laying a course. Uh, da, 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 da. Reconfigure satellite. Yeah, that's reconfigured. Oh boy. Oh boy. I think the Borg think that us hanging around is a fantabulous idea, and that the Borg don't have any problems with us deciding to party because I wouldn't have any problems 
with Starfleet officers to sign the party when I specifically told them not to. Because if a Starfleet officer showed up to my party, I would be like, oh my god, it's a Starfleet officer. And then I would question them about everything until they yell at me about oh, Prime Directive, Prime Directive. And then that's, that's my story. Because as you know, they wouldn't be able to tell me absolute crap. Because the Prime Directive prevents it. Which is unfortunate. Of course, I completely, that's another thing I completely agree with, is the Star Trek Prime Directive. I think that, um, I don't think that we should interfere um, with pre-warp species or anything like that, if they even exist. We have no idea if there's alien life. We still haven't been able to confirm it. There's rumors here and there, people claiming there's in government classified files here and there. In fact, there's even a conspiracy theory that the U.S. government has aliens um, working for it in um, size secret facility somewhere in the desert, and that's why um, what is it? that is why uh, the U.S. advanced in technology so fast. Because, guys, night post World War II, technology just. Boom, it just went flying. Just look at what we had. Well, not even post-World War II, but yeah. This, the 20th century was a technological revolution. Oh boy, board sphere, let's do this. Weaken their shields, fire phasers, fire torpedoes while they're a little weak. All right, let's fire phases again, see so if we can get the shields down all the way. Not quite, that torpedo did it though. All right, this torpedo is gonna cut right through them. Boom, look at that, that did absolutely nothing because their shields weren't down. Look, now you can see what kind of a pain the shields can be. All right, let's turn around. Tachyon beam, photons now. Fire in the hole, there we go. Two more seconds, and there we go. Oh, that didn't do it, all right. Well, that will, these phaser shots will do it. Luckily for this, luckily for us, I believe they're friend. But that is something to find out next time. As we're nearing the 20 minute mark, or we're past it, I'm not too sure I didn't pay attention. So I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye bye. Link cancelled. Resuming local operations.